Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. Hey everyone, welcome back. I have already made a tutorial on creating a basic zoom effect and you can find the link in the description below. In this tutorial I will demonstrate how to use the advanced zoom features. I am using VideoPad version 7.51 but the general steps should apply to both older and newer versions. There are two tips I want to stress at the outset. Number one, do not be intimidated by this process. And number two, there's a good chance you, you will experience a lot of lag. So be patient and let VideoPad process your Zoom. I will go step by step and believe I have devised an explanation and method that will make it quite easy to follow and understand what I am doing. I will be using an image for this demonstration to make it easier on my computer's resources. And first thing we need to do once we are in the sequence preview is we need to mark off the section that we wish to add our zoom effect to. Now what we do is you move your red timeline cursor to the beginning of where you wish to add the zoom effect and you hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor and you choose split all tracks you then move your red timeline cursor to where you want it to end hover your mouse over it and choose split all tracks again click one time in between it turns a light gray color and that means that this section is now activated to add your effect to from the top menu choose video effects and then zoom the Zoom dialog box opens up. Now, the first time you open up your Zoom dialog box, it will look like this. And you need to click on Show or Hide the Effects Animation Editor to expand the section that allows you to use Advanced Interface. Do not be intimidated by that ugly, ugly interface, okay? I also want to remind you that you must, you must check the restraint so that the aspect ratio matches the aspect ratio of your video. Most of the time you will be recording for YouTube which is 16 by 9 ratio so make sure the restraint is 16 by 9 so you do not get any black bars at the top or the sides of your videos. To use VideoPads advanced zoom features you will need to click on the show or hide the effect animation editor icon. The first thing you will need to do will be to add what are called keyframes to the beginning of our zoom. And you do that by clicking on the add keyframes at current position icon. It has shown us that it has the full frame. And that's how we want to start our zoom with a full frame. Now we're going to play follow the leader. You are the leader and video pad is the follower. Down here we have your time frame and as you know this one is about eight seconds long. This little clip that we are going to be zooming in on. So I am going to move my red timeline cursor about halfway about to the four second mark and now I am going to say to VideoPad I am the leader and you are the follower hey VideoPad follow my zoom and I am going to resize my zoom frame and I am going to reposition my zoom frame and in the background here you can see how VideoPad is desperately trying to process your information and you can also see here where the gray bar has turned to blue let me move this down a little bit and you can see it is processing the information remember you are the leader and VideoPad is the follower VideoPad has now followed you from a full frame to this new position and new size. 
Now we are going to zoom out all the way. This is all we're going to do. So we are going to take our red timeline cursor and we are going to move it in time all the way to the end of our little clip. And now we're going to say, hey video pad, follow me. And what we're going to do is we are going to resize and reposition our zoom frame so that it takes up the entire frame because we're going all the way back to the beginning. And there you go. We have zoomed in and we have zoomed out. And now you simply close this dialog box and you are done. I am going to export this and show you what it looks like. We're going to do it again, but this time we're going to make it a little bit more complex. Once again, I have set two marks indicating the segment that we wish to apply our effect to. Video effect, zoom. Now, our <clears throat> effects animation editor box is already up, but it has not added these initial keyframes. So I will immediately add these keyframes at the beginning. So we start with a full frame. I am going to move my timeline cursor to about the two second mark here. And I'm looking down here at the bottom and I am looking at the vertical grids. And I am going to tell VideoPad once again, hey VideoPad, I'm the leader and you're the follower. This time I want you to follow me over to the left hand side and I am going to resize and reposition my zoom frame just so we can see this one ceiling but not any of the black on the top. I want to stay on this nice little lipstick treat seedling for a short period of time. I do not want to make it smaller or larger. I don't want to zoom. So I'm going to move my red timeline cursor in time a little about halfway between these two vertical bars. I have not repositioned it and I have not resized it because I want to stay looking at these cute little seedlings for a while. But I do need to add my keyframes. So I am going to click on add keyframes at current position. And there you have it. We have set our keyframes, but we have not repositioned or resized it. Now we're going to move in time again. And this time, I'm going to say, hey, video pad, follow me. And I am going to reposition my zoom frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it right over to the other side. Video pad is going to follow me to this side of my frame. If I want, I can resize it a little bit, but I am not going to do that because it makes for a nice smooth pan, a nice smooth transition if you leave it the same size. Now I want to stay on this lipstick tree seedling for a little bit. So once again, I'm going to move my red timeline cursor in time. I'm just going to go over to the next vertical bar. And that's probably enough time. That's about one second. And I'm going to click on add keyframes at current position. And again, you can see all those lines are nice and straight, which means it's just going to stay there. Now I'm going to move my red timeline cursor in time. And I am going to move my zoom frame in position and in size. I'm going to take up, I'm going to kind of go about halfway out. 
And once again, in your mind, you can kind of think, hey, video pad, follow me. And you have repositioned and resized your zoom frame. In the background, it is processing. I will wait for it to process before I continue. I am now going to go to the end of our little clip and I am going to zoom all the way out. So I'm going to say, hey, video pad, follow me to a full frame. So I am going to resize and reposition my zoom frame so that it matches the entire frame, takes up the entire frame. Once again, in the background, it is processing the information. I am going to close this dialog box. I am going to export this video and we're going to take a look. Zoom and pan to the left, stay on the subject, pan across to the right and stay on the subject, zoom out halfway, and then zoom out to full frame. Beautiful. And there you have it. I told you it wasn't that complicated. And overcoming the intimidation factor is probably your most difficult obstacle. If you spend a bit of time playing and experimenting with the advanced zoom effect, I'm sure you will soon be able to confidently add it to your video pad editing repertoire. Have fun with this! Like and subscribe and be sure to check out my other video pad tutorials from the tech playlist in the description below.